Using this method, you can carve a design into an object using any photo. Start by getting an object you'd like to carve, in this case I'm modeling a pumpkin. The image I'm using is a picture of a skull that I got for free from Pexels.com. Add in a plane, put it in front of your object, and scale it down until it's smaller. Make sure the edges aren't sticking out like this. Apply the scale and rotation when you're done. Add a subdivision surface modifier to give it more detail, and then add a displacement modifier. Click the texture button, make sure the type is set to image or movie, and then select your image. Make sure your displacement modifier is using object coordinates, then add an empty and select it as your control object. This will let you move and scale your image. I had to rotate the empty by 90 degrees and scale it down to get mine working. Apply the subdiv modifier and add another if you want it to be higher resolution. Next, hide the displacement and add a shrink wrap modifier above it. Select your object as the target, set the wrap method to project, and choose the Y axis. Turn the offset value up. You want to keep the plane as close as possible without the object poking through. When it looks good, apply the shrink wrap modifier and then turn the displacement back on. Change the direction from normal to Y, set the mid level to zero, and adjust the strength until it's going as deep as you want to carve. If you want to turn tiling off, you can go to your texture and under mapping, select clip. You can also add blur under sampling and change the levels under colors. Next, add a solidify modifier above the displacement and turn the thickness up until you can't see the surface of your object. Change the viewport display to wire and add a boolean modifier to your object, selecting the plane. It's a good idea to save before doing this in case Blender crashes. If your carving doesn't look right, try moving or scaling your empty until it works. The boolean modifier can be kind of glitchy, but when it's working, you can get some really impressive results. For my pumpkin, I put a light inside of it and added some subsurface scattering to the inner material so that it glows. What else could you use this method for?